Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jonathan and today where I'm going to be showing you how to basically do keyword research for your content marketing strategy. So for example, if you are a local business owner or if you were doing an e-commerce store and you really wanted to really scale up your business and getting free organic traffic from your different sources uh, such that you can decrease spending on advertising, you will engage in content marketing. If you're watching this video, I'm assuming you already know somewhat of what, how the benefits of content marketing and basically the different platforms that you can use. So why do people do content marketing? It's basically to educate the audience, to entertain the audience or to inform the audience. So basically, if you're buying something, you every customer wants to have more information about the product of what they're buying such that they are reducing doubt to the purchase. Right? So there are many, many steps of consideration that a customer goes through before they purchase a product, including the price of it, the features of it, whether it's better than their competitors, etc, etc. And so basically, content marketing is reducing the gap between the purchase and the decision to buy. All right. So um, there are different, different tools that you can do keyword research for. So in the SEO niche, um, SEM Rush, Edge, Refs, there are a lot of paid tools that are being used. So, however, if you're just starting out or you're just doing it by yourself, it's quite expensive to be using these tools. SEM Rush is $100 a month and you may not want to be spending this money up front if you are not getting the results or not, yeah, basically, if, if you're not into it that much. All right, that's another tool which is basically keyword tool.io there's also a pro version i think you can do once once a day or is it twice a day searches on this keyword tool.io that also does competitive analysis all right so keyword tool.io as you can see here you have to pay for it okay not sure why it's not showing the pricing but basically these are like uh, different tools that you can use for competitive and that competitive analysis for keyword research but i'm just going to show you a free method that you can use um besides this all right so this is content marketing and basically uh, you can prioritize your contents in terms of you can write blogs, you can write videos, uh, you can produce videos, you can uh, post photos and you can post infographics. Uh, infographics are really good because uh, for example on Pinterest, if you see something that's interesting, you can just pin it and people may be able to find that uh, interesting and repost that pin as well. All right, So it's very easily digestible content uh, for people. So concerning keyword research, uh, before you start your keyword research, of course, there are, uh, we are going to focus on local businesses, but if you're doing e-com as well, then uh, you just may have to slightly slant your marketing angle a bit. All right. So there are certain questions you just need to ask yourself. Number one would be what types of products and services that you are already producing, right? So you're using this uh, your product and service and you must center all your content around it. So if something that was irrelevant but a bit related, you should not be producing content for it because everybody has a limited marketing budget. The next one would be what type, what pain points are customers currently experiencing before they purchase your product? The next one would be are there any monetary concerns? So for example, if your product or service was a bit on the expensive end of the site, expensive end, then you may want to address some of these concerns of how much do they actually cost, being transparent with this pricings such that people uh, understand more about your product and yeah, basically that. Next one would be how to and slash what I can do for myself, DIY. And this point kind of relates to, for example, um, I'm going to use the example of a chiropractor later. Uh, however, uh, yeah, so I'm going to use the example of a chiropractor. So in the terms of chiropractor, right, if our somebody was experiencing back pain or knee pain, what can I do for myself that I could potentially do at home already? So in addition to my treatments and stuff, I could potentially like produce a video where uh, the chiropractor is explaining on what type of treatments or what type of exercises I can do in my spare time that I don't require the help of a chiropractor that could potentially benefit me and my well-being, right? So the last one and the concern that you have to concern yourself with is can I, I make a video for it? The reason is why Google is, uh, why video is so important nowadays is because Google and YouTube are the same company and Google basically prioritize YouTube videos above a lot of organic search engines results. So I'm just gonna show you here as I typed in chiropractor just now. So chiropractor, after your PPC ads, right? So they definitely have priority because people paid for the ads, right? That's the map um, citation here. After the map citation, there are the data snippets. After data snippets, there are just a few of the organic results and then their videos. So videos are incredibly effective because they already rank higher, right? They are not, you don't have to write a 4,000 word essay to rank 
uh, just like here on the first page, just make a video and you'll, be, you'll rank very well. All right. So that's an advantage to you if you can make video content and it'll be faster for you in terms of content marketing and seeing results as well. All right. So I'm just going to go into it and show you uh, the different types of tools and what you should be doing uh, to produce and find ideas for your content marketing strategy. Okay. So keyword research, for example, chiropractor, I kind of know what it is, but I'm not so familiar into the niche. So what I know of it right now, it's they are like, uh, they adjust your neck. They do like knee adjustment treatments, people who have like physiotherapy. So I'm not very familiar in the niche and it just goes to show you that anyone can do keyword research for a niche that they are not very um, into at the moment. They're not expert at it, but they still can do research for uh, keyword research for it anytime. All right. So uh, just pull, uh, once you search your general term on Google, you can put them, uh, just go down uh, to the search, searches related to chiropractic, or you can go into the search here. And as you can see, the different types of uh, main keywords that people are searching for in relation to your general term. So I'm just going to use the word uh, chiropractic adjustments. All right. So you come into keyword.io. I'm going to put all these links in the description below so that you can follow along. So you can just put in chi chiropractic adjustment. Okay. I'm just going to search. So what keyword.io gives me is basically autocompletes long tail keywords. So I want to target these long tail keywords such that uh, it's not very saturated in the market. Okay, you can basically create a free account so that you can basically export all your keyword lists to your computer later. But I'm just going to decline that at the moment. So what you want to do here at the start is basically, as you can see here, there are all these keyword suggestions that you can potentially use. So if you want to use uh, them and have it into a physical file, you just add all and you can press export right here, which I, I can't do because I, I don't have a free account right now. Okay, so that's one way of doing your keyword research. The other way that I like doing is come to answerthepublic.com. So if you haven't come to this, it's a very, very useful tool. There is a pro version, but I don't think you need to use it because it's effective without it uh, at the moment. So what you want to do here, do the same thing. Chiroprac. Tick adjustment. Okay, after letting it run, there's a report that will come out. And in the report, the, this visualization is basically a visual representation of everything, uh, potential ideas that you could do around your content marketing. So let's see some of them. Uh, right here, can chiropractic adjustment help dizziness? That could be a blog post. Can it cause vertigo? Uh, let's see what else. Can chiropractic adjustment help migraines? So if someone was searching, how do I cure migraine? You could potentially write a, uh, write a blog on this, uh, do a video on this. How to chiropractic neck adjustment. So of course they want you, you want people to come to your chiropractic uh, service, right? So you don't want to be um, showing them how to do it DIY at home. So you're gonna show them a video, for example, of you doing it in your office and helping people do it to show that you're an expert at it. All right, how to self chiropractic adjustment. So it's similar as what I was saying just now, the DIY portion of it. How can I, what adjustments, what exercises can I do at home that will already help me and benefit me? Okay, so as you can see here, I'm just pulling up um, random questions and queries that could potentially be in your content marketing schedule. So every single month, if you're just limited to four videos, for example, uh, according to your budget, then you just want to select uh, the best one that is more suited to your service. All right, and we're gonna use the data later. I'm gonna show you on which one you should pick as well. Okay, so instead of visualization, I'm going to the data. And in this data, I'm just gonna randomly pick uh, a few of them and bring them into my text edit document. So as you can see here, this is all like um, manual labor in terms of keyword research. But because, I mean, it's free and it doesn't take a lot of time, you can potentially get a lot, a lot of ideas very quickly, all right? so. Okay, so I'm just gonna, what happens after chiropractic adjustment? Okay, so I've already got a sizable uh, number of questions and queries that I could potentially use for my content marketing strategy. And after answer the public, after your keyword research, what you're gonna do is to come in to a, a tool, Google Ads Keyword Planner. So Google Ads Keyword Planner, after registering with your Gmail account, this would be a free, um, it's basically free. Okay, so you can find new keywords or you get search volume and forecast. Um, usually I'll just, 
uh, find new keywords. So I'm just going to plant one in. So let's see what's relevant. Is chiropractic adjustment good for you? Okay. I'm just going to put that in. And going to enter. Okay. So keep in mind when you're using Google Ads uh, for keyword research, right? Um, these search volumes and stuff, this is all for uh, organic traffic. But once you get into uh, get search volumes and forecast, and so if I stated just now, is chiropractic the adjustment good for you? You get started. All of this data right here, all your CTAs, all your costs are basically um, coming from paid traffic. So you just have to keep that in mind. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to go back, find new keywords, and type in what I typed in just now. Okay, get started. Okay, I'm going to sort through average monthly searches. So obviously, I want average monthly searches because I want people to find my content. I want people who are already searching for this content to be able to click through my content and find me. Otherwise, I'm producing content for no reason. Nobody's going to see it anyway. Okay, so as you can see here, there are a lot of relevant uh, keywords that you can potentially use as well. Neck pain, back pain, relief, I'm not sure what's this, uh, lower back pain treatment, back pain, chiropractic, massage, spinal decompression. So you can basically take all of these keywords and you can export them. Oh, no, not add it. Yeah, and you can basically just save them into your save filters so that you've got all of them in one area and that you can see at one go. Okay, so after seeing that and uh, seeing which basically which keywords that you would like to use, you can manually put in all of these uh, these questions and stuff and you can put it into your keyword planner and you get your average monthly searches. So after filtering them into uh, this process, this is basically the elimination process. So you've got all of these potential questions that you can use. You put it them into your keyword planner. You see which one it's more worthwhile to make as a video content or your blog post, etc. And if there's a lot of search volume, then you just put it into your, just put it into your strategy that you would like. Uh, I'm not sure which one was it. It's correct, the treatment safe for you. Yep, you just basically put it into the ones that you want to be producing in the future. All right. So uh, that is basically it. It's actually very, very simple. The thing is, there's manual labor and you just have to use your mind, right? You just have to think about what types of uh, pieces of content that your your customer wants to uh, wants to consume, right? What are they actually searching for? Basically, what are the pain points of your product? Okay, so you just got to be very empathetic with your own audience. Imagine yourself as them. What would they be asking? What are their concerns before they purchase their product? What is hindering them from purchasing a product or finding a product, right? So in the case of finding a product, uh, there's a lot of things. Uh, you just can't, very, very hard to index your content. Is it hard to find? Is it accessible? Is it on the platform, social platforms? Is it on Facebook, Instagram that they're already using? All right, and in terms of uh, what do they actually what are they actually finding you can use this process to basically generate your keyword research okay so i'm just going to do a quick con conclusion right now so you, what you want to start with is a quick google search of your niche find out all of the keywords that um, are important to you and basically you don't have to be specific in this one just get the general keywords that are important to you all right so afterwards you go into keyword.io or you go into answer the public and you rely on these tools to generate keyword suggestions for you. Either be it long tail keywords, short tail keywords, and you bring them into a, a manual uh, text edit document or any word document and you basically put them and compile it into one section. After you compile them into one section, you bring them into your analysis tool, which is basically your Google Ads Keyword Planner, and you get the results, get your average monthly searches, and uh, you get your competition as well, but this is not as relevant because you're content marketing. All right, you are going to use this information and the data in this Google Ads Keyword Planner, and you're going to sort your content. So in terms of priority, if this is getting uh, more average monthly searches, I'm going to produce content for this first, then this, then this, then this. Okay, etc, etc. The last thing, okay, so this is basically the process that, that uh, I go through for keyword research is just there is another thing that you could uh, do in terms of improving the content over your own competitors. So using is chiropractor adjustment good for you, right? So you're already competing globally in Google search engine. So 
if you are, for example, if I want to produce a con piece of content, a video, a blog, a photo, a uh, infographic that is for this question, right? I really want to know what is the literally the top searched result. What is the best result that Google finds that is um, better than uh, basically the, the best piece of content for this query right here? So the best piece of content is this snippet here, the chiropractic controversies. So you basically go into the top search result that your competitors are already doing and you see what they're doing right. So as I'm scrolling through here, I don't even need to know what type of content they're producing. But how they're so effective, I know, in this piece of content is that they are extremely, extremely uh, story-based. They are extremely uh, detailed. As you can see here, I'm scrolling through down. They probably got 20,000 words. And these are the citations and the references. So uh, there's credibility in this document as well. So to be able to outrank someone else for a piece of content, you need to know what the top person is already doing. And you just kind of tweak it in a bit. So for me, um, if I'm seeing here the chiropractic controversies, what I can do to be the, literally the top rank Google for this query of this piece of content is chiropractic adjustment good for you. My top competitor is doing long, long articles that are very, very informative, that are people don't have to click off the page uh, to go to find another page uh, to find the content that they want. So what I would do is something that they're missing, that I'm seeing is that they are not doing videos, they're not doing a lot of photos, they're doing pure text. So Google is just indexing the crawling. So what I know that I can do to outrank this document is basically write this piece of content just as long just as informative but add a video add a photo add the alt text to the photo etc etc right so you just do what people are already doing successfully and then you just kind of tweak it and add your value add to it all right so i, I hope this um this tutorial has been um effective for you and you've learned and gained some value from it uh, so this is basically how you do keyword research for your content marketing strategy if you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments section below. Uh, thank you for your time and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.